Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages nine, six, and four. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you've come to the right place. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, I am going to be showing you daily math practice for grade three by Evan Moore. Now I am an affiliate of Evan Moore and my affiliate links are down in the description box below. Basically what that means is that Evan Moore does not pay me to make these videos but if you click on one of those links to check out Evan Moore and you buy something I do receive a small commission now if you have been following my channel for a while you know that we have been using Evan Moore since the very beginning of our homeschool journey so I am thrilled to be an affiliate for them because I really do believe in their products I think they make wonderful workbooks that have brief compact lessons that let your child review essential skills and learn new ones in a simple and straightforward way without beating them over the head with workbook pages. So, so again, this is actually daily math practice for grade three, and this type of workbook is available in grades one through six from Evan Moore. The daily series has a lot of different topics with it, by the way. They have daily higher order thinking, daily fundamentals, daily six straight writing, daily language review, et cetera, et cetera. I particularly love daily paragraph editing. My son loved doing this in um, second grade. So the daily math practice books are available in the student practice format as well as the teacher's edition ebook. Just as most of the other Evan Moore workbooks, you have a really clear um, skill scope and sequence here to follow. I flipped to week two just so I can show you exactly how every single week is oriented in this book. It is designed to be a five day a week program and basically here you have day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. Now, days one through four are designed to be fairly short sets of problems. You'll see here just five problems a day. And some of them are straight arithmetic, some of them involve coloring, some of them involve like a little bit of word problems, etc. And then you go on to day five, and day five is actually much more intensive. So it has a little bit more critical thinking, an area to show your work, and a couple different activities. But again, this is just a little bit more... Um, involved than the arithmetic of the first four days. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through for you here. It's a really simple way to uh, review your math skills. It's a great book if you want to do like a starter. So if the child just gets in the habit of every single day when you start work, this is what's going to happen. If you have multiple children, a book like this is really helpful because as you're getting the younger kids situated, the older kids can get started on something like this without too much instruction from you or help. So they have calendar skills here, critical thinking skills, basic arithmetic, multiplication, fraction, divisions, money skills, calendar skills and time, multiplication tables. And as you progress, it gets a little bit more complicated. There's also measuring, bar graphs. So a really comprehensive array of mathematic topics angles, a little bit of geometry. Here you have a little bit of three-dimensional shapes, some map skills, and then you have a complete set of answer key pages. I love answer key pages that look like this because it makes it a lot easier for an older student to grade a younger student's work or for them to check their own work. So I really like having answer keys like that. My kids don't actually um, look at the answer key very often, so I'm not so worried about leaving it in the book, but they're always separate in Evan Moore, so it's easy to tear out and create your own answer key binder, by the way, which I suggest if um, you do have a kid who might look ahead. One of my friend's children actually uh, had a little bit of looking at the answer key issue, and she wrote in uh, one of her workbook pages like over and over, answers may vary, which I thought was hilarious. Um, this book is about $22.99, and you can get it for 25% off if you get it through the homeschool bundle. It's also available as part of the homeschool math bundle. And I think that also gives you about 25% off. You can use this as a standalone workbook. You can combine it with math fundamentals, or you can combine it with their daily word problems book, which is formatted in a very similar way, except it's each of them are word problems. I personally prefer this because for my kids, they find a whole section of word problems a little bit intimidating. So 
It really depends on who your kid is. Another way to use this book is to use it as a summer review book because they're such short little lessons. So there's a myriad of different ways you can use it. So if you're interested in checking out this book or any other Evanmore workbook, go ahead and click on my affiliate link down below. And on the Evanmore website, you can see in more detail how every single page is oriented before you decide whether it would work for your child or not. So as always, you guys, thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. And I wish you guys the very best day.